Hey guys, welcome back to your 34 tutorial in C++ series. In this video, we're going to discuss how we can overload templatized functions in C++. In the previous video, we have learned how we can create a template and we also learned how we can use them in our functions. In this video, we're going to discuss how we can overload a templatized function in C++. Here, I have created a little function or little program to swap any values of any two numbers now what I want to do is I want to take any two arrays and swap all the values of those two arrays now we can't do that work with this reverse numbers function because it's going to take only two numbers as arguments but what we can do is we can t take the reverse number function as a copy and then we can pass the arguments as arrays and then we can you know swap all the values in those two arrays so in order to do that, first I'm going to create a template. So I'm going to say template and it has a type name of t and then I'm going to create the void function. So void reverse numbers which means we are creating the same copy of our function which is reverse numbers and then I'm going to pass three parameters. The first parameter is the first array so I'm going to say t array a which is the first array and then t array b which is the second array and then the next one is the size so int size and then what we're going to do is we're going to use an for loop now before doing that I want to talk why we need this size variable now we need this size variable because we need to track the number of elements in this array a and b so that we can swap all those values using this size variable so here i'm going to use a normal for loop in order to iterate through all the elements in this array so i'm going to say for int i so int i equal to zero so wait right here so int i equal to zero and i is less than size and i plus plus now here I'm going to say t temp equal to a of index position i and then I'm going to say a of index position i equal to b of index position i and then I'm going to say b of index position i equal to temp. Now what I'm doing right here, I'm creating an temporary variable where I'm going to assign it equal to all the elements in this array a so what happens is it's going to take all the temporary values or it's going to assign all the temporary values in this array a so that we can assign an array to an array now normally we can't assign an array to an array but if we create a temporary variable and assign it equal to the first array which is a we can assign that a array to this b array so that's why i have created this temporary variable now this is how we can use this overloading function with using a template. Now what I'm going to do is in this main function I'm going to create two arrays. So I'm going to say int once which is going to take all the values as once because it's going to make some sense if we name it as once and assign all the values as once. So I'm going to say int once and then I'm going to assign values and we need to specifically or statically assign the size of our two arrays so int once and int let's say nines like that and then we're going to assign all the values as nines and this array should also take four nines because i said that we should statically assign the size so let's assign four nines to this array like that now what i'm going to do is I'm going to call the function which is the reverse numbers and then pass the first one, the first array which is ones, second one which is the nines and the second one which is the size of the arrays which is four, right? This is four. And we can also store this four in a constant variable. So let's create a const variable. So const int, let's name it as size equal to 4 now what we can do is we can name it as size right here like that now what we can do is we can use an for loop in order to 
swap all those values. So I'm going to say for int i equal to zero. So here I have made an uppercase character. So right here. So for int i equal to zero and i is less than four, which is the size of our arrays and i plus plus. Now what we can do is we can swap all those values by saying c out. I will say once of index position i and then I'm going to give and space and then I will say nines of index position i and then I'm going to give and tab right here and then after the for loop I'm going to use a new line so c out and a new line. So this is how we can do that. Now let's compile our program. Make sure you are using the C++11 flag while compiling your program. And now you see that it's going to show us 919191. But it's not going to show us the reverse values. Why it's not going to show us? Because we need to print these values once again before calling the function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this for loop right here. And then I'm going to use this after creating this function. So let's do that. And then I'm going to create this variable after this first for loop. Now let's save this program and run it. Now when you run your program, you see that it's going to swap all the values. Now the reason it's not showing us the reverse values after this line is because we need to print the values or the swap values before calling the function so that's why it's not going to show us the next line right here so this is how you can use overloading templatized functions in c if you like this video please like it subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video